coming up on today's episode. The new version of the Microsoft Flight Simulator features Pipistrel. Liberty University is offering new aviation bachelor's and master's degree. And an FAA scandal could result in the mandatory retest of hundreds of pilots. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly news program dedicated to all things flight training, as well as the amazing industry built around it. There's no segment more important to the growth of the aviation world than the flight training community. I'm Sophie Herlock. Microsoft and Pipistrel have partnered up to include the Pipistrel Virus SW-121 into the new and long-awaited Microsoft Flight Simulator, which will be released next Tuesday for Xbox and PC. This highly accurate model of the aircraft will be one of the planes available to fly in the Premium Deluxe Edition, which includes everything from Microsoft Flight Simulator, plus an additional 10 airplanes with unique flight models, as well as an additional 10 international airports all for $119.99. The highly acclaimed updated simulator makes use of Microsoft Bing Maps and Azure Cloud Mapping Computing Services in order to replicate the world as accurately as possible. It not only features detailed aircraft and airports, but also a new checklist system, dynamic weather, day and night engine, and aerodynamic modeling. You'll be able to explore the world in your Virus SW-121 in amazing detail, with over 2 million cities, 1.5 billion buildings, real mountains, roads, trees, rivers, animals, traffic, and more. Microsoft Flight Simulator Premium Deluxe is available for pre-order on Microsoft's website. When we return, Eastern Michigan University Aviation Program clarifies their upcoming changes. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. The Eastern Michigan University Aviation Program is still open and operating, however some major changes are underway. After years of a great relationship with their partner Eagle Flight Center, the university is now looking to move forward and will be announcing a new partnership arrangement in the coming days to bring greater opportunities to their nearly 200 students enrolled in the program. The Vermont Wing of the Civil Air Patrol Cadet Orientation Flight Program recently launched several cadets on their first glider orientation flights at Hartness State Airport. Every CAP cadet under the age of 18 is eligible for five flights in a powered aircraft, five flights in a glider aircraft, and an unlimited number of backseat flights. Orientation flights are always free for cadets, as the CAP hopes to spread the thrill of flying to the younger generation. Lieutenant Junior Grade Madeline G. Swegel the U.S. Navy's first black female tactical air pilot received her wings of gold on July 31st during a small ceremony at Naval Air Station Kingsville, Texas, marking a significant milestone for naval aviation. Swegel is assigned to the Red Hawks of Training Squadron VT-21, under training Air Wing 2 at NAS Kingsville, and completed her final undergraduate TAC air training flight in a T-45C Goshawk jet trainer aircraft on July 7th. BAA Training, one of the top independent aviation training centers in Europe, 
is moving forward with its expansion into Spain. A global aviation training provider is establishing a 5,300 square meter training center near Barcelona El Prat Joseph Terra de los Airport, which will become home to a Boeing 737 MAX 8 full flight simulator manufactured by L3 Harris Technologies. The training device is planned to be ready at BAA Training Spain by quarter one of 2021, when the demand for 737 MAX pilot training is expected to grow due to the upcoming recertification of the aircraft. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Liberty University School of Aeronautics has added two degrees to its growing academic offerings, a Master of Science in Aeronautics and a Bachelor's of Science in Aviation Management. Both programs will be offered beginning this fall and are available through Liberty University online programs. The new MS program offers four specializations, safety, education, leadership, and a general track. Liberty University's online dean, Dr. Julie Speaks, says the MS program is for students who are currently working in aviation and even aviation enthusiasts who want to keep their feet on the ground. Entrance into the MS degree program does not require flight credentials, licenses, prerequisites, or an undergraduate degree in an aviation-related field. Students seeking a career in aviation management or administration will benefit from the aviation leadership specialization, which will prepare them to manage the unique challenges in the aviation profession. Military members seeking to rise in rank would also benefit from this program. Several hundred pilots will have to be retested for check rides, some of which may have been taken over the course of 11 years due to unspecified issues found by the FAA concerning pilot examiner Michael A. Puehler. In a notice posted on July 15th, the FAA stated, This notice provides current guidance to FAA aviation safety inspectors on program policies and procedures for re-examining individuals holding pilot certificates with various ratings who are tested by Michael A. Puehler of Cincinnati, Ohio. The re-examination will ensure that these individuals meet the standards of Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations 14 CFR Part 61 to hold their certificates and or ratings. As a result of an investigation by the FAA of the the certification activities of Mr. Puehler. The administrator determined that there is reason to believe that the competency of the airmen examined by Mr. Puehler from the period of October 2008 through December of 2019 is in doubt. As a result of the evidence obtained during the investigation, the FAA determined that these airmen will require re-examination of their competency pursuant with 49 U.S.C. Section 44709 to ensure safety in air commerce. Airmen who renewed their flight instructor certificate or reinstated their flight instructor certificate with Mr. Puehler are also included in this re-examination notice. And that wraps up our airborne flight training for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like and subscribe so you can receive notifications when new content is posted. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and head over to Aero-News for the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day. Thanks so much for tuning in and come back Friday to wrap up your week with an episode of Airborne Unlimited.